Hi, this is Austin. Today I would like to share the proof of the variance of a Poisson distribution equal to the average rate, the lambda. So if let's say x follow a Poisson distribution with average rate lambda and with the density function, so we know that the variance is the second central moment. So what we have to do here is to first obtain the second moment. So the second moment is actually the weighted average of all possible numbers square. Okay, times the probability density function. Or we can straight away substitute the probability density function here. So negative lambda, lambda to the power of x over x factorial. So we will have, okay, we do some simplification first. Before that, as you can see here, when x equal to 0, 0 times any number is equal to 0. So it means that we can straight away reduce to x equal to 1 to infinity for x squared means that x times x e to the power of negative lambda lambda x over x factorial so we do some simplification here x over x factorial is actually x over x times x minus 1 factorial so we do some simplification then we obtain 1 over x minus 1 factorial. So we have summation for x equal to 1 to infinity x times x over factorial x factorial which is 1 over x minus 1 factorial and then times e to the power of negative lambda lambda power x to have the same pattern then we take to the power of negative lambda then lambda times lambda power x minus 1 so that we have the same pattern here x minus 1 factorial so we just let k be x minus 1 so when x equal to 1 k equal to 0 so we have e x square is equal to total k equal to 0 to infinity x x is equal to k plus 1 so k plus 1 okay times e to the power of negative lambda lambda times lambda x to the power of negative 1 over okay x minus 1 is equal to k so we change to k then over k factorial so we expand the function lambda is a constant so we take out lambda total k equal to 0 to infinity k times e power negative lambda lambda power k over k factorial then we plus plus lambda is the constant so total k equal to 0 to infinity times 1 e to the power of negative lambda lambda to the power of k over k factorial as we can see here this part is the probability density function so the total of the probability density function is equal to 1 so meaning to say we can reduce to lambda times 1 which is lambda 
So for k equal to 0, any number times 0 is 0, so we can reduce to k equal to 1 to infinity. So we have negative lambda k factorial plus lambda. Again, we use the same idea over here. Now we have lambda k equal to 1 to infinity e to the power of negative lambda lambda power k over k minus 1 factorial plus lambda so obtain the same part okay the same pattern so we write e the second moment equal to lambda okay so we just let m be k minus 1 okay before that we have to put this to the same pattern so lambda summation k equal to 1 to the infinity e to the power negative lambda lambda times lambda k minus 1 over k minus 1 factorial plus lambda so we have okay using the substitution when k equal to 1 m equal to 0 to infinity so lambda is the constant we take out so lambda times lambda we have lambda square then e to power negative lambda lambda to the power of k minus 1 which is m over k minus 1 factorial which is m factorial plus lambda so again this is the probability density function so the total is equal to 1 so meaning to say we left only lambda square times 1 which is lambda square then we plus lambda and then we back to this part okay so the second moment is lambda square plus lambda and then the first moment which is the mean the mean is equal to lambda so we have minus lambda square so lambda square minus lambda square we left only lambda so we have already proof here okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you